Mr. Speaker, say I want to thank the Honourable Member for asking this question. Mr. Speaker, say when you talk about <coughs> food security, there are two key aspects. One is accessibility and the second is affordability. So within this framework of accessibility and affordability, I'm going to explain to, uh, the, the, uh, to this Parliament about what we are doing in terms of ensuring that we do um, uh, have food security for pigeons in, in the country. Mr. Speaker said that food and nutrition security for all pigeons is one of the key strategic priority uh, in the Ministry's 2019 and 2023 strategic development plan as well as uh, Fiji's five-year and 20-year national development plan. So the entire um, you know, activities uh, that we undertake is uh, basically emanates from this uh, overall framework, the strategic development plan for Ministry of Agriculture and the uh, on, uh, on Fiji's five-year and 20-year development plan. So, Mr. Speaker, said this guiding strategy is is, uh, is, ba is the basis of the related policies and initiatives formulated during the course of, of our five-year plan to develop and boost uh, the achievement of at least food security for all Fijians. And furthermore, the Ministry is also working with the other line ministries, for example, the Ministry of Health, uh, in ensuring uh, that we are able to uh, guarantee to as far as possible food and nutrition security for all Fijians. Mr. Speaker, say, um, uh, we, so, uh, about the la over the last two years, we uh, have several policies, to, uh, several activities, several programs that uh, was um, you know, uh, implemented to achieve food security. Two key notable uh, programs uh, over the last two years that we uh, undertook was the home gardening uh, program and the uh, farm response package, Mr. Speaker Say. Mr. Speaker Say, when you talk about accessibility, then the, the accessibility c c will happen when we have production and supply distributed throughout Fiji. So when you have production and supply, uh, let's say in, you know, uh, in Tavuni, in, in, in Kandavu, in, in Didia, then it's accessible. But when you talk about affordability, then the only way to pretty much guarantee affordability is to have sufficient supply on the ground. Uh, the temporary issues about uh, you know, increasing wages and salaries, uh, price caps, etc., is not a sustainable solution to deal with the issue of affordability. <coughs> when there is temporary price hike due to COVID-19 or due to flooding or due to a cyclone, there have been calls to the ministry uh, thinking that ministry can uh, set price caps. Uh, uh, but neither we have powers to do that, nor that that is a sustainable <coughs> solution to deal with uh, an issue which is a temporary. And I always believe that to deal with a temporary measure, we should not have policies uh, which will need to deal with a temporary measure. So Mr. Speaker said the longer run strategy is to ensure that we work on the ground to deal with production and supply. <coughs> Mr. Speaker said, said the two programs <coughs> that we um, uh, introduced uh, in 2020, beginning of 2020, we had 228,744 home gardening seed packs, which had 1.1 million individual seed uh, packs given out to households throughout <coughs> Fiji. That program is currently still uh, uh, being, being uh, implemented, where households were able to grow their own food. There's an there's a amazing, amazing um, and a mobilization of households throughout Fiji in terms of growing their own food. And Mr. Speaker said that dust has not settled yet with the crisis between Ukraine and Russia, with the increase in shipping uh, freight cost. We kind of are, we haven't put our guards down. We are on the ground ensuring that we continue to uh, get people motivated in terms of growing their food as far as possible and as much as possible, Mr. Speaker said. Mr. Speaker said, on this note, we were also able to mobilize the farmers who were able to grow uh, and expand production 
for their own uh, household income as well as in national interest, Mr. Speaker said. And there's a substantial growth in agricultural output, uh, which fed the entire nation. And in addition to that, we're able to export the surplus. <coughs> Mr. Speaker said, the <coughs> total agriculture grew at an average, annual average growth rate of 3.2% from 2016 to 2020. <coughs> In, a, in addition, agriculture GDP also grew at an average growth rate of 3.6% from 2016 to 2019. And the latest GDP release still note that there's a major positive growth in agriculture despite decline in other sectors in the economy. Of course, one would say that you know, uh, it is a temporary phenomenon because these people move back to agriculture and they'll come back. But Mr. Speaker said, we have got new land under production that shows that this is gonna is here to stay. So, Mr. Speaker, say, in nominal terms, when you're talking about the value of agriculture, at the moment is 1.5 billion dollars. Our target over the next nine years, ten years from last year, we want to get agriculture to have a value of two billion dollars. Now, having said that, the question then arises: is what do you do with the surplus, Mr. Speaker? Say, 2020, the agricultural output. Agricultural export, fresh and chill. What about the product? Fresh and chill was $106 million. The latest figure for 2021 shows that the agricultural export, fresh and chilled, after feeding the entire nation, has gone up to $121 million, Mr. Speaker said. Mr. Speaker said, leading this, leading this charge in export is cover around $40 million, $30 million dalo, fresh and chilled. $21 million turmeric, a new crop on the board, Mr. Speaker, say, over, over the last three years, has surplused the other traditional export crops. But ginger, $21 million. We've got you know, uh, uh, turmeric, turmeric, Mr. Speaker, say, turmeric, $21 million. Then we've got ginger, we've got eggs being exported to Pacific Island countries, Mr. Speaker, say. So all these have uh, led, pushed exports to $121 million in 2021, Mr. Speaker, say. Not only that, Mr. Speaker, say, we have also identified, given food security issue, strategic, strategic crops, staple food crop that we need to grow if we have a strategic advantage within. Rice, for example, Mr. Speaker, say, we're spending about $42 million every year. There is a major boost in rice production in, in the in Northern Division as well as in, in the Western Division, Mr. Speaker, say. So, Mr. Speaker, say, we are looking at, over the last two years, we have raised self-sufficiency in rice from 16% to 20%. My feeling is it could be 22% if you account for this year's production. There's substantial savings in the money that we are losing, which we are gaining from export of traditional crops, tourism, remittances, etc. Mr. Speaker said, so as I said, pushing production on the ground, ensuring this is accessible, ensuring this is in the volume, in the volume that will reduce prices and make it affordable, that is the long-term strategy to ensure and guarantee food security of ordinary Fijians, Mr. Speaker. Sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, I, I'm quite baffled that they don't listen to our responses and saying that four key. Mr. Speaker, sir, Mr. Speaker, sir, the prices of agricultural output on the on the in the markets around on, on on the roadside stalls will demonstrate to you whether it's affordable or not, Mr. Speaker. Sir. Number two. It's a supply issue. If you go and ask people whether they're able to get vegetables that they consume daily, if they're not able to get, then there's a food security issue, Mr. Speaker said. Second, Mr. Speaker said, is the data. The data that I'm presenting in terms of production, I'm saying that while, the, while all the other sectors have declined, or 13% decline, agricultural output has increased over the last two years. The RBF data, Bureau of Stats data shows that agricultural output has increased, Mr. Speaker said. Then, Mr. Speaker said, the surplus we export have gone up. From 2022, we've gone up to 101 million, uh, 106 million. In 2021, 121 million, Mr. Speaker said. What else are data or evidence you want to show that you know, our food security is pretty much under control? Not only that, Mr. Speaker said, we are ex exporting the excess after feeding the entire nation, exporting the excess to get the much needed foreign, foreign currency into the country. Thank you. Thank you. We'll move on. We'll move on.